Okay, welcome. This tutorial is going to be a Photoshop tutorial on how to put your own image on a 3D book for, for whether it's an ebook or an actual printable book or whatever it is. But this is to make it so that you can have the 3D looking book so you can put it on your website or or wherever you're selling your ebook or giving it away, whatever you're doing with it. So here we go. We're going to get started. This was just a generic. 3D book that was that I had downloaded from Shutterstock. So wherever you get your images from, you can go to Shutterstock or or there's multiple places that sell uh, vector graphics or or JPEGs or PNG files for the images that you're looking for to be able to do a 3D book in all different shapes and sizes and stuff. So we're going to get started here in Photoshop. So we have the book end that we're going to put on the book, and we have the book cover. And right now it's just 2D flat. So what we're going to need to do is be able to put it on this book so that it follows the curves and angles of it and looks like a 3D book. So let's get started here. So first we're going to take this image. You just drag it off the bar and go to your first image. Now just take it and drag it across. Just drag it across and it will show up on there. So then you want to take it up to the corner and then go up here to edit go to freehand transform then you'll want to drag it out to the corners so the tallest corners so whatever corners are the highest so bring it down like about there and then don't click away from it because you want to be able to you see the grid that's around the outside edges once you go out of that it's going to stay in that shape and you still need to do some changes to it so that it fits on the cover of the book so go back to edit and then go to transform and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to distort so now what you'll do is you'll take the corners bring it to wherever it is that you have the corners of the book like this and just keep adjusting it until you get it right in the corners like you want it So just like that. So then you still don't want to click away because you still need to be able to follow these angles up here because you see that it kind of goes rounded and it's not following exactly and the bottom needs to kind of curve up. So now what you do is go back to edit, go back down to transform and then now you're going to want to warp. So then he shows up with this grid and what it is is it makes it so that if you say you're right here you want to warp it you just grab a hold of it, pull it up to wherever you need it to be and pull it up from the bottom and you can use these little tabs too to get it just right and you'll just adjust it until you get it right where you want it whether you need to adjust it out a little just you know just play with it until you get it just right and let's pull this up just a little okay so then when you get it exactly where you want it you can just press enter and then there you go the cover is done and you know there's a little bit of an edge here and stuff so you just want to make sure you get that all perfect before you're finished so that you know you have the book exactly how you want it so now let's add the book end so go to your book end now drag it down and away and now just take that move it onto the book now we can get rid of these we don't need these anymore okay so now we'll do the same steps we did before so we'll drag it over then we'll take and edit again and go to freehand transform now we'll drag it down so that we have it long enough and about where we need it then without clicking away again go up to edit transform and we're going to want to go back to distort okay so now we can take it and we can bring it over where we need it. So we'll go to the corners of the book and we'll just drag it out so we have it roughly where we want it. Then again go up to edit, transform, and now we want warp. So now we're going to do just a little bit of tweaking to get it just where we want it. And pull it down just right ok 
Okay, so then now you got the warp where you want it, then just press enter again. And there you go. You have a 3D book cover with a 2D image that you had to put on it. So thank you for watching this video. Please rate and subscribe. And there will be a lot more videos on this page for you to check out over the next little while. I'm making videos all the time. And thank you for your time. And Oh, and if you don't have Photoshop and you don't have the money to buy Photoshop, you can always, just to, if you need it for just a little while, you can go and they have a free trial where you can try it out and then you can make whatever you need with it and then that, it gives you a month to use it if you, you know, can't afford it or whatever. And so, so you can try it out and use it. So there you go. So thank you. Bye.